Welcome to another episode of Distro History, the series where we dive into the origins and impact of the most significant Linux distributions. Today, we're focusing on Mandrake Linux, a distribution that played a pivotal role in making Linux accessible to the average user, helping to shape the future of desktop Linux. In 1998, Mandrake Linux was founded by Gail Duval with a clear mission, to make Linux easy to use for everyone, not just for experts or developers. At the time, Linux was often seen as too complex for everyday users, requiring deep technical knowledge to install and operate. Mandrake Linux set out to change that. Mandrake Linux was originally based on Red Hat Linux, but quickly developed its own identity. What set Mandrake apart was its focus on user-friendliness and its inclusion of the KDE desktop environment, which offered a familiar, Windows-like interface. This was a significant shift, as most distributions at the time used the simpler and less polished FVWM or TWM window managers. One of the key innovations of Mandrake Linux was its ease of installation. It featured a graphical installer that simplified the entire process, making it much more accessible to users who weren't comfortable with the command line. This was groundbreaking for the time, as most Linux distributions required manual partitioning and configuration, which intimidated many potential users. Another standout feature was Mandrake's inclusion of DRAC-X, a suite of configuration tools that made managing the system and hardware incredibly easy. These tools allowed users to configure their network, manage software, and adjust system settings with just a few clicks, something that was still rare in the Linux world at the time. Mandrake Linux also pioneered the idea of live CDs, allowing users to try Linux without having to install it on their hard drives. This was a revolutionary concept, as it let users experiment with Linux in a risk-free environment, lowering the barrier to entry for curious newcomers. Throughout the early 2000s, Mandrake Linux grew in popularity. It became one of the most widely used Linux distributions, particularly in Europe, where it gained a strong foothold in the market. For many users, Mandrake was their first introduction to Linux, and its user-friendly approach made it the go-to choice for those transitioning from Windows. However, by the mid-2000s, Mandrake began to face financial difficulties. In 2005, it merged with Connectiva, a Brazilian Linux company, and the new distribution was renamed Mandriva Linux. Despite the merger, Mandriva struggled to maintain its previous success, and eventually it faded into obscurity as other distributions like Ubuntu rose to prominence. Despite its decline, Mandrake Linux's influence on the Linux world cannot be overstated. It paved the way for user-friendly distributions, proving that Linux could be both powerful and accessible. Its innovations, like the graphical installer, configuration tools, and live CDs set the stage for future distributions aimed at desktop users. Today, Magea, a community-driven fork of Mandriva, continues the legacy of Mandrake, ensuring that its pioneering spirit lives on. As we look back at the history of Mandrake Linux, we remember it as a trailblazer, a distribution that dared to make Linux easy for everyone, and in doing so, changed the landscape of desktop computing forever. Thanks for watching.